What is the greatest ducket? I'll do it myself in history. Jonas Salk needed human subjects to test his polio vaccine. That's normally a long process and he wanted to make the vaccine available as quick as possible, so he just experimented on himself. In Cliff Stahl. The cuckoo's egg. Noticed weird traffic on his university servers. No one believed him that there was any risk occurring. Ended up uncovering a major hacking attempt to steal missile designs and basically created internet security. I think it was missile designs. It's been a long time. In 1888, Alman Brown Strouger, an undertaker, noticed he was losing a lot of business to the other undertaker in town. He found out that the other undertaker's wife was a telephone operator, and when she intercepted people asking to be connected to Strouger's funeral home, the operator would route the call to her husband's funeral home instead. Three years later, Strouger patented the automatic teller exchange, a system which allowed telephone users to make calls without the need for human operators, single-handedly destroying an entire workforce. Otis invented pretty much what we consider the modern elevator. Nobody was convinced it was safe, so he hoisted himself up extremely high and had somebody cut the cable with an axe to prove how confident he was that the elevator was safe regardless of almost worst case scenarios. John Snow. Not that one. The father of epidemiology. No one believed him that the cholera outbreak in what is now Soho was because of a contaminated water pump. He broke it. They arrested him for vandalism and held him until the outbreak suddenly ended. Edit. Corrected the location. Leo Major. He liberated an entire village from Nazis by himself. He's one of the handful of super badass soldiers you sometimes hear about from WW2. Brian Acton interviewed at Facebook and got turned down. He said duck it and built WhatsApp. Several years later, Facebook bought WhatsApp for $19 bid it. Here is his tweet from 2009 the day he interviewed. I'm getting this framed for my desk at work. Probably the time Nando Parado and Roberto Canessa decided they couldn't wait around any longer and legged it for 10 days across the ends with no warm clothes. Climbing gear, or food except some scraps of their dead friends stuffed into a sock. They finally found someone out in the middle of nowhere. Sergio Catalan. Who rode horseback all night and then took a bus to get some help. The mountain climbers had come from the wreckage of a crashed clean that everyone had been looking for for over two emos. They needed help for the other survivors who were injured and starving. They saved 14 of their friends. Morris Heilman invented over 40 vaccines during his career in the pharmaceutical industry. In 1963 his oldest daughter caught the mumps. He cultured a sample from her, developed a vaccine, and injected it into his younger daughter. That vaccine is still in use and has saved millions of lives. In total, it's estimated that his work has saved 118 million lives globally. The guy who started FedEx wrote a college paper about a nationwide overnight shipping company and got a C. Started the company anyways. Later after he started it, and it was struggling. He couldn't get a loan and the company was almost bankrupt. And he bet next week's payroll at the casino on roulette and won. Also got a silver star in the Vietnam War and Nauco. Owns the Washington Redskins. The latter often viewed as the biggest failure in his life. Desmond Doss. Single-handedly saved from 50 to 100 men up on Hacks Origin Okinawa. His company was ordered to retreat when they were attacked by the Japanese, but instead he said nah, stayed up on the ridge alone, unarmed, and dragged as many soldiers as he could to safety without any help. Even when he was shot by a sniper and riddled with shrapnel, he made sure they took another guy down the hillside before him. Edit. I'm aware there is a movie. I've read about him before, and I know he's done more than just what is in the movie. I just didn't want to make a 3000 word post about the many ways this guy is amazing. The Not a very old story. Manchi or the mountain man lived in a very remote village of India whose route to nearby was blocked a mountain and hence villagers had to climb it every time. And they had to do that daily to get essential supplies. During one of these trips, his wife fell down the mountain. He loved her alit. 
He tried first to persuade the gov to do a mountain tunnel project there but to vain. So he went on alone to break the entire mountain with just an axe. He did that for 10 years and finally succeeded. There is a Bollywood movie on him too. Title. Manji. The Mountain Man. James Clerk Maxwell was idolized by Einstein as being the father of modern physics. Not only did he formulate the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation, but just for craps and giggles he calculated exactly what Saturn's rings were made from using pure mathematics. It wasn't until Voyager 1 and 2 passed by and took photos in the early 80s did we get confirmation that Maxwell was right. He then calculated how to take a color photograph in 1855. This was then achieved in 1861, and is recognized as the first ever color photograph. Nikola Tesla was tasked with lighting up the world's fair, but Thomas Edison wouldn't allow him to use any of his patents, so Tesla had to invent a new light bulb that didn't use any of Edison's patents, and could still have thousands made in time for the event. Let's not forget, that Isaac Newton ran out of math to work with, and was like I guess I'll just invent calculus then. Seward's decision to buy Alaska from Russia. In 1947 a guy named Thor Heyerdahl was trying to prove his theory, that the Polynesian islands were settled by people from South America, not Asia. Nobody believed him. Because it was thought that crossing such a large ocean with the technology they had back then was impossible. So he decides to build a boat using only the tools and materials available at the time these migrations took place. And then he sailed that boat across the Pacific Ocean. Nearly dying in the process. But ultimately making it to the Polynesian Islands. When Julius Caesar decided to just up and ducking march into Rome to declare himself the military leader. He when Nintendo turned down a collab with Sony, then Sony said, duck it, we'll do it ourselves. the rest is history. The doctor stationed in Antarctica that removed his own appendix, got him. Henry VIII, couldn't get his way with the Pope, so made he made the Church of England, so he could do what he wanted. Perhaps when no one believed Barry Marshall, that H. pylori can cause stomach ulcers, so he thought screw it, I'll test it on myself, and ended up getting the Nobel Prize. Edit. Wow I did not expect this to get so many upvotes. Also thank you folks for the Bo Awards. However, I feel it's necessary to point out that Robin Warren, the co. winner of the Nobel Prize, has actually done most of the work for the discovery. But Marshall got all the attention well. Because of doing this. Thank you you. Ramiel 14 for reminding us. A man who was a tractor mechanic Khan Puniona made a good chunk of money and bought a Ferrari. He felt that the car wasn't as good as it could be. And it wasn't very comfortable. So he brought his complaints all the way to Enzo Ferrari. The owner of the company. Enzo insulted the man. Saying a mere tractor mechanic didn't know how to make a sports car. That sparked a rivalry that lasts to this day. That man was Firaxio Lamborghini. Edit. Thanks to you. TDS 755 and you. King Chameleon 07 for correcting me. During the American Revolution. John Paul Jones sailed over to England. To burn down British naval ships. He succeeded of course. And made back safely. After the revolution he was even pardoned by the town that he burned most of the ships in. The Soviet woman that lost her husband to the Nazis sold everything and to pay for a tank with the request that she gets to drive it to fight Nazis. Go read up about Maria Roktia Briskair on Wikipedia. The dude in the war with wounded fingers. A doctor wouldn't amputate them so he bit them off himself. Martin Rothblatt. Founder of Sirius XM and Unbelievable Polymath. Was told her daughter Genesis had three months to live. She had been diagnosed with a type of pulmonary arterial hypertension which was fatal. The disease causes too much pressure in the blood vessels leading from the heart to the lungs. Causing them to narrow and not carry enough oxygen. So Rothblatt quit all of her other work and went to the library to save her daughter. Even though she had zero background in the field. She figured out a cure, and in the process, founded United Therapeutics which is a billion dollar biotechnology company. Rothblatt's life story is amazing. 
Hannibal of Carthage deciding to take his army over the Alps, includes war elephants. Close street I can think of is Owen Rommel during the Blitzkrieg seeing an opportunity to make an exploit, and instead of waiting said duck it, and charged 200 miles into French territory. Alexander the Great solving the Gordian, not by cutting it with his sword. George Clooney bought his own spy satellite to prove the alleged crimes of an African warlords, because nobody else would. Here's a notable mention, albeit somewhat obscure. Sam Regenstreet once made 40% of the dishwashers in the USA at the time. Uh, he fell ill with a kidney stone, and went to his local hospital in Indiana. Upon leaving, he was disgusted by the waiting times and quality of care. He took matters into his own hands, and created a hospital, and founded the Regenstreif Institute. This institute helped, map the genome of COVID-19 and translated its finding into 20 languages helping the world fight this virus. Edit. Sharing me with all the treasure. My first time gold and silver. I'm thrilled. When Pedro Serrano realized Joe Blue wasn't going to help him hit a damn curveball. Lee Roy G. Inkins. Lioness of Brittany. During the American Civil War, General McClellan was in charge of the Army of the Potomac. He was an over cautious kind of officer, and he wasn't doing enough to move against Lee's Army of Northern Virginia. Lincoln got fed up with the inaction, and wrote him a letter in which he asked his general if he could borrow the army, since you're not using it for anything. Wasn't there that Russian? Of course he was Russian. Doctor that did stomach surgery on himself. With only a bottle of vodka for anesthetic. When Princess Vespa's hair got singed. Stanislav Petrov making the decision not to push the button to launch nuclear missiles. As would have been his direct orders when the Russian early warning system wrongly indicated the launch of American missiles in 1983. One man saved the entire world from nuclear destruction. So this is undeniably the greatest of these moments in all human history. There should be a statue of him in every major city around the world. Edit. Spelling edit. More spelling. The story of calculus. Dashrath Manji the mountain man. Dude carved a way through a mountain single-handedly, to pave a shorter way to a hospital, because his wife died due to the lack of treatment, after falling from the same mountain. It took him 22 years. The authorities did not react so he did. This happened in rural India, and there's a movie about him. We had a client, that had his books and processes so messed up. We were doing almost a thousand journal entries a month to make corrections. He had five full time people in accounting, when he could have gotten the way with one accountant, and one sheet part, one time billing person. He got tired of our bills and hearing us make recommendations. So he finally said I'll do it myself. All five of his people quit over the next few months. And last I heard, they weren't even able to bill customers. Lamborghini building cars because duck farrery.